Let's get ready to rumble! This is why um, I personally believe Klitschko is going to lose this fight. There's a fragility about Klitschko. It's always been there. He has done a great job to maintain that belt for so long. But I have to keep it real. The challengers like the Lee Pies, the Mormex, and there was a lot of them. The Pianettes, there was a lot of these guys. Ruckman at the AG40, there was a whole load of them. Weren't able to provide Vlad with that challenge that will ultimately lead to his defeat. Inevitably. Tyson Fury bought it. I didn't think Tyson Fury could do it, but... He psychologically wore him down. And you don't just have to psychologically wear him down. Joshua's not going to talk and psych Vlad out. That's not going to happen. But he doesn't need to. I think Joshua is a guy who believes that if I put the work in and I improve to this level, I'll beat you. And it's as simple as that. While Vlad, I'm going to give Tyson therapy in the ring and improve him and I'll help Joshua back after I beat him. He tries to be profound and stuff like that. When in all truth, None of it is convincing, what Vlad is saying. I'm not saying he's a crap fighter, but none of that is convincing. Now, I can't be a hypocrite, you know. His style is his style, but when he is outside Germany, he can't do the leaning octopus sort of thing he does like he does in Germany. And he's done that to mediocre opponents. And you don't need no big mystical, I put you through therapy to beat Gene Mormick. To be honest, like, he's supposed to beat them opponents he's beat. No disrespect, he's supposed to beat them in the style that he beat them. I think Vlad has had to do a lot of work on his confidence. And, you know, like I said, he's done pretty well. He's done pretty well. But it will resurface when he knows there's a valid challenge in there. And, you know, I thought Pulev could have been that guy. I'm not going to lie. You know, in hindsight, he wasn't that guy. I think Pulev is a level below Joshua. I believe Joshua can put him in that bad place like Tyson Fury put him in. Corey Sanders, Lamont Brewster, and Purity. I believe Joshua, with his skill set, punching power, can do that. And I'm not going to pretend I knew everything. I thought he was going to beat Tyson Fury. But I did tell Mr. Bashir that Tyson Fury is in Vlad's head already. He's in his, I know he's got in his head. And that's before the fight happened. And, you know, I said, he's in his head. I don't know if it will affect the result. But, but Tyson Fury has succeeded in getting into Vladimir Klitschko's fragile mind state. Why I say fragile? When he was fighting Gene Mark Mormick, it was clear there was no threat coming back at the guy. And he had already been previously critiqued. I think it was um for the... Povetkin performance where he was jumping off the ground to get extra leverage to lean down on Povetkin and this fight here either his camp or the media or everyone in general was looking forward to a performance where he didn't do that and he didn't do it but there were times you could see when he was entering an exchange with Mormek who looked really feeble in comparison he had to force himself not to lean on Mormick. He had to force himself. There was a couple of times he kind of restrained him. And when he was going to go further, he had to force himself not to lean down on him. I saw it. That's how cautious he is about the prospect of getting beaten. And look, I don't box. I don't know what the fallout is taking them devastating knockout defeats he's taken. It can change a man drastically how he approaches the ring. And now we're hearing Team Klitschko knew Vladimir would lose three days before the Fury fight. Jonathan Banks has revealed he realized they would lose the Tyson Fury fight three days before it happened. They're saying defeat was the consequence of the 41-year-old having an off night. But while it was unexpected by most, Banks says he knew it was coming. He quotes Manny Stewart, who he succeeded I got it on the first day before the Fury fight, said Banks, 34 years of age. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I can't describe it. Manny couldn't describe it to me. Not until you are in tune with your fighter will you know. 
Of course, you can't say anything to Vladimir. You can't walk into the ring with your head down. You can't be sad. You can't say forget it. You have to go through with it and see what happens in the ring. Maybe he can do something to offset the mind state. I knew right away that something was wrong with Vlad. Manny Stewart once told me one thing before every fight I see the outcome a day or two before. When Tommy Hearns was going up against Hagler, he knew the outcome. It hit him in the locker room that Tommy was going to lose the fight. Well, Manny also said he lost because he had Tommy training on the beach, running in the sand, and it weakened his legs. Manny says a lot. He's a, look, listen, he's a great, great coach. Before anyone says anything, you know, that you're dissing Manny. No, he's one of the greatest coaches ever. But Manny says a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> he says that Manny told Tommy not to fight Iran Barkley because he knew Barkley was going to beat him. The same thing when Lennox Lewis fought Hassin Ratman. Manny knew that Lennox would lose. But, and I, I can't remember who, well, it might, might have been Tommy again, where he said somebody massaged one of his boxer's legs and he quickly stopped him and he said, oh no, you've messed it up, they're going to lose now. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's funny, Manny's a funny dude like, like that, you know. And I think super, there's nothing wrong with superstition. You know, if that's what you have, that's what you have. Some people are very successful with that superstitious paranoia making them thoroughly do all the checks and balances so you know they've got everything covered <laughs> it's funny too though you know what I mean? well if that's the case maybe them fighters being trained by steward saw the apprehension and fear in manny if manny knew they were going to lose and that transferred over to them i'm just saying maybe 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 you know but i also remember manny saying he didn't like the look of Derek chisora before he was scheduled to fight Vlad. And remember the mysterious injury, which no one believed he had, and the fight got called off. You know, if Jonathan Banks is telling me that he ain't worried about Joshua, but he was worried about losing to Tyson Fury. Dude, Tyson Fury is a good boxer, but Joshua is offensively one of the best heavyweights I've seen in recent years. And offensively, and in terms of being a gifted athlete, He's one of the best challenges that Vlad has ever had. So, if you're not having a few of them, he's going to get knocked out thoughts with Joshua. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah? And maybe Team Klitschko are full of confidence right now. Maybe so. But there's a long way to go before we get into that ring on Saturday. So... If this is a reoccurring pattern in certain fights, I'm expecting it to happen against Joshua and for him to get defeated, if that's what I'm being told. I mean, Banks didn't even say there was any incident specifically that led him to think that Klitschko was going to just lose. What, you just, just come up in your head, you didn't see something inspiring, you got wobbled or he didn't look as good in training as he had previously did? It's just something, no, just thought he was going to lose. Mr. Banks, Emmanuel Stewart is great, but maybe that's not one of his best traits that you should have inherited into the camp, especially for this fight here.